Uh, where are we going? It was like, uh, yeah, here. To, what's this town called? Sassau Monastery, I guess. Yeah. You look at the treasure map. Okay. Well, we'll do that later. Yeah. I want to complete this side quest first. Maybe do at least one main quest. Yeah. Hope you get something nice first. Use some training. Training. Training? Yeah. What training do you get? Oh, yeah. From robot. Uh, I don't know. Sword? I'd like to improve. Certainly. Slightly advanced. I'm interested in. All right. Okay. Now. Uh, defense. Can you teach me? Certainly. I'm interested in. All right. Now. These are basically free levels, though, aren't they? just get all of these oh no we need the uh, long sword one right yeah okay how much grocery have we got Wait, where does it say that 3.1k okay that's good enough that's good enough. it is strange you're right i don't think he likes me yeah We did all those, didn't we? The the manual, the actual training where he fights you. We learned the master strokes and whatever. Oh, do you mean just for practice? Yeah. I'm fine. Like, fighting is fine. I really don't mind the combat as long as it's 1v1. If it's 1v3, 4, 5, I get, I get absolutely creamed, which is very normal. Right? If it's just me and some guy, I can, I can parry like no tomorrow. But if it's, yeah, it's like an army. I, I'm not a hero. Yeah, that's what I do as well. You kind of have to, like, back up and run away. So one of them steps closer to you and the others are kind of behind. So then you can stab him whilst his mates are still recoiling. Is it in here? Oh. was nothing my friend oh is it you who am i speaking to I'm from the overseer is he the overseer i can't remember no god be with you ah 
Ah, he's gone in here. God be with you. Uh, who's responsible for the purchase of materials? Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery. But those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well. Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember the last when they brought the last delivery? Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes, it rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. This piece fell on him. This is the block that fell on him. And what am I supposed to see? I don't know anything about stone. This stone isn't from Talmberg. Someone must have switched it. Someone from here? We have guards and a wagon full of stone isn't something you can haul around single-handed. I'm telling you, it's not from the Talmberg quarry. I'll find out who's behind it. Uh, We know who did it. It was, it was Zmola. Yeah. What? Zmola's the one responsible for all the thefts and deaths. He tried to kill me and Leszek and God knows who else. Sweet Jesus. Where is he now? Dead. I killed him in self-defense. So is that the end of it, do you think? It looks that way. Leszek was helping him, but he's dead. So things should settle down from now on. God bless. Even so, we'll have to reconsecrate the monastery. Take care now. Okay. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, have a word with Johanka. We're at the monastery now, so we could have a word with Johanka uh, about the pestilence. Because she needs to go help Mehoyed. I think. This seems... Hmm. I didn't know we could sleep there. Where are we? Oh, this is a private area. Don't mind me. Henry. Uh, my heard Elizabeth's residence played there. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyed was attacked. Oh God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? Plague. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyev. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. Not he may Nicodemus. Know how to deal with it. Very well. I'll try to find him. Come back when you right know. Right behind more. you. Thank you, Johanka. God be with you. Isn't. No. There he is. Uh, there's a plague. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyed. Your hanker said that you might be able to advise. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Is it? Uh. Okay. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help it's me? It's not very interesting. I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? Uh, I think the whole village... I expect so. Well, why would they be so fearful about it? Merhoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, there's a stud farm. All the animals died. And they've all died off. 
The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? Uh... I thought we did know. Did they tell us? I can't remember. I'm going to gamble. Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? Uh, yeah. Yes, I can. Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. Wait, why did we fail? Investigate the plague in Mahoyed. Where do we start? So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Uh, okay. Just so. We can rule nothing out at this stage. You look in the breviary. I thought we did. Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by oh, one, one Johann of oh. St. Paul. But I don't know Latin. Fortunately for you, our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue. So you can still be of use. Study the breviary carefully and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the proven classics. Avicenna and his canon Medicinae and Galen's magnum opus, the Ars Medicinalis. Good luck, then. The Ars Medicinalis. Medicinalis. Okay, study the book. Revarium Cygnus Casui. It is known that the body of a man is composed of four humors. Blood bile. Where did I put those books? Black bile and phlegm. A bit like biggest dickers. <laughs> if these are imbalanced, the person is hale and healthy. But if there is an excess of one, it swamps the body and disrupts the equilibrium and leads to ailments or even death. The excess of mucus may also lead to diphtheria, for example. The no, body... Probably not. Endeavors to get rid of it by coughing, sometimes spasmodically. They did talk about hands shaking, didn't they? It leaves sores, sores in the throat and the mouth and trouble in the sick somewhere. throat. The whole agony is further exacerbated with fever, often accompanied by maladies. Mal 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 malaise? Malaise? After, uh, yes, after a few yes, days, rash or spots appear. People often become infected by association with the sufferer, but not everyone so succumbs to the infection. Diphtheria does not infect animals, nor do they suffer from it. Whatever can it be? Ooh. Well, it can't be that then. Febris, causa, Reading is difficult, not. yeah. Plague, called by black bile uh, fluctuations, often exhibits by many signs. These include fever encompassed by malaise. Hmm. Hmm. Boetin. Now, what have we here? Alternated with spasmodic cough, perhaps even diarrhea, when the body endeavours to rid itself of excess black bile. Yes, yes, that and would make sense. Great thirst. After a few days, the sores are up on the body and under the neck and jaw and down pits in the groin. Hmm. Lord, oh, Lord, what times we live in. It spreads among people, but some people are not afflicted. Small animals do not suffer from the plague, but bigger ones may be infected. Fusion yellow bile can lead to his Lord. dysentery. Oh, Lord, what times we live in. Bad really, the sick also suffer terrible thirst, abdominal cramps, and fever. It is transmitted from person to person, but animals do not Could suffer it from be? it. No, probably not. So it sounds like plague at the moment. There are also other ways in which the humors are disturbed, the blood 
and the blood of weakened one such is by poisoning, which manifests by leaving delirium, stomach ache, and causing diarrhea. Great thirst. If a person is poisoned by gas, for example, in mines near swamps or similar yes, places, yes, that would make sense. There often appears a rash around the nose and mouth. However, this rash does not occur if the poison is ingested through food consumed. Poisoning is not transmitted between humans or animals. Uh, but if they drink, for example, the same source of water people infected as, as well as animals. So, plague or poison. Interesting is balance of this is Saint Vitsu Dance. Manifested no, by the inflicted nice. dancing wildly. Existing scream or uh, move to transfer. Uh, 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 uh. They generally become exhausted or die. Some may uh, strip off their clothes. Whatever can it be? And it <laughs> Febris e causa ignota. Uh, the, this dance plague is highly contagious, although only affects humans and not animals. Lord. Oh, <laughs> Lord times we live in. Okay. I studied the book. Find the right diagnosis. It sounds like plague. Pretty sure it's Could plague. It I think I have it. Yes? And what do you make of it? Plague. It's turned out to be the worst. The plague. Really? That sounds rather unlikely. But if Master Johann of St. Paul's says so, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. Oh, God. Have I chosen the right one? <laughs> Turns out that more people in medieval times could read than what's commonly thought, as evidenced by lots of books, such as common books, uh, cookbooks. Ah. Huh. Yeah, books must have been expensive. Maybe they had like libraries. Uh, I can help. I could help with that. Really? Yes. I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent. I'll give you the recipe. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. I'll get started right away. I, meanwhile, She'll head straight to, uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. Oh, yes, Merhoyed. I'll take your hanker with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Thank you, Brother Nicodemus. I need you to cure the captive first. There's one man there who needs your care more urgently than anyone. He's an important witness in the investigation of some murders. Out of the question. I shall spend time with the sick in order of their medical needs, not your worldly needs. Yeah. Okay. Good luck then. I don't. I, I'm now doubting whether it's plague. Just because you said it seemed unlikely. Um, but it was the only one that affected animals. That or poisoning, but. We should have, um, oh, Mehoyev remedy. This recipe for the healing potion should cure the afflicted Mehoyev villagers. You need spirits, two handfuls of alvarian, and one of wormwood. Okay. Two valerian, one wormwood. He's already gone. Come back! I need to buy stuff from you. No. May the Lord watch over you. Is that him? No. Damn it. Where am I going to get these flowers from? God, he's fast. Hmm. 
He took his chance to get away. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Herbalus. Is that the guy? That'll just be who we... We just saw, right? There's only one Herbalus, I thought. Pretty sure. Maybe it's not. I really don't want to go flower picking. Do I think I'll play Teresa's DLC? Perhaps. We'll have to see. I guess it depends how much time. I don't know. I saw the DLCs are quite short, though, so. And there is the, uh, I don't know. The quests scare me a little bit. Right, I need to find where these flowers are. No one else is going to sell me these flowers, are they? Do I have a book of stuff? Of, um... 